What's up everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body and today I've got you my top five abdominal exercises that you can do with just your body weight. Check it out. Now the good thing about any of these exercises is you can put them all onto a circuit, just perform each exercise for about three sets of anywhere from 12 all the way up to about 15 repetitions. So we're getting it started here. We're starting with our very first exercise and this one is the good old crunch. Now this is my absolute favorite abdominal exercise for building those upper abs. I don't think there's any exercise that is so phenomenally powerful for the upper abdominals other than the crunch. Now when you're performing this exercise, there's a few things that I want you to be conscious of throughout the whole motion of the lift. The first thing is that every time you're doing any type of abdominal lift, you're not just throwing your body up into the exercise. You're slowly contracting with the abdominals, lifting those shoulder blades up off the ground, and then using those abdominals to slowly bring your body back down onto the ground. So the focus of this one here is to make sure that you're getting those shoulder blades up off the ground, you're engaging those upper abdominals, and you're focusing also on keeping your chin off of your chest. Next, we've got our reverse crunch. Now, the reverse crunch is probably my favorite exercise when it comes to lower abdominal training. And an exercise that I don't see too, too many people doing here. So you start with your feet flat on the ground, your whole body is lying down straight like a plank. And you're lifting those knees up by bringing the feet together, bringing those knees up as close as you can towards your chest, and then slowly extending those legs, straightening them out, and then not actually letting them rest on the ground, but getting them two to four inches off of the ground. So your feet never actually touch the ground, which means that your lower abdominals are always engaged. All right, so we've hit our upper, we've hit our lower. Now we're gonna target more of that middle area of the abdominals, and as well start to take into account our oblique muscles. So these are our lying opposite toe touches. So you position your body out completely like a star, your arms are out wide, your legs are out nice and wide too, and you're lifting with your left arm to your right leg or with your right arm to your left leg. Basically, you're reaching across your body and you're raising that leg up nice and high all the way up until it gets to about the point at about mid abdominal level. And you're reaching up there with your hand as you're getting that extension, you're lifting those shoulder blades up off the ground and engaging that core. And this is awesome because you're gonna get activation from both the left side of your oblique muscles and as well from the right side, but also you're hitting almost the entire set of abdominal muscles while performing this. And this exercise in oscillation from left to right to left to right is really gonna be throwing a wrench in your normal ab training. And it's gonna allow the body a lot of that shock that it needs to sort of push it past the plateau and stimulate more growth in the abdominal muscles. Okay, and here we've got our alternating elbow to knee sit-ups. So we're coming up each time and we're not just lifting our shoulder blades up off the ground anymore. At this point of the exercise, what we're doing here is we're also just lifting up our middle back and lower back, completely pivoting off of the glutes. You're coming in with your right elbow to your left knee and then you're coming down. You're coming right back up with your left elbow to your right knee. You're alternating each time oscillating which side of your obliques you're hitting. And it's just a fantastic way to totally burn out the rest of your abdominals and for targeting those obliques. Now we're gonna finish it off here with a combination of two exercises. We're actually gonna be doing the crunch as well as the reverse crunch together at the same exact time. What this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to target both your upper and your lower simultaneously. It's gonna be one of your more difficult exercises and what I ask you to strive to do is kind of hold that motion at the top of the lift so when your legs are up towards your hips and you've gotten those shoulder blades up off the ground, to try and actually hold that lift for about half of a second just so you can totally burn out your abdominals and you're bringing those feet down and again, as you were with the reverse crunch, you're not actually letting your feet rest on the ground. Your shoulder blades, however, are gonna come down completely and then you're coming back up. And I'm telling you, man, this thing is gonna absolutely kill you, especially because it's this last exercise of the circuit. All right, and there you guys go. Those are my personal top five favorite abdominal exercises that you can do at home using absolutely no equipment. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout videos and workout tips that you're not gonna wanna miss. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.